Hey y'all, I got me a new shotgun. Uh, it's the IAC Hawk 982 made by Norinco. I mean, it's pretty sweet. And uh, a couple days ago, I sold a couple of my award-winning ostriches. So I had some money laying around, you know what I mean? I figured I'd make it extra sweet. And I got the Magpul stocks. I got the Magpul 4 in. And a really cool bullet holder for the side. I figure I'll show you how I put those on. Um, it's a pretty cool gun. I mean, it is made in China, but it's like the Walmart version of the 870, uh, except Walmart sells the 870, and this I had to get someplace else. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, so let's put it together. Okay, so we're going to install the Magpul SGA stock for the 870. Magpul Mo 4N for the 870 and the Techstar side saddle. We'll start with the SGA stock. Um, it's pretty simple. The it does come with comes with these attachments. You can make it um, longer or shorter depending on your preference and the hardware. So first, you have to get the old one off. You have these two little rubber inserts you just pull out. And then you have two screws in there. And then down inside there you have another long screw that attaches the stock. Um, there is some Loctite usually on there, so it may take some uh, extra effort. So there's your stock. That's the long screw I was talking about. Take your make full stack. It comes with the spacer. Um, that's in case you don't use the uh, sling. They have a sling attachment that goes right there. But you can also add. Fits right on just like the old one did. This comes with Loctite already on it. Okay, now it's nice and tight. There's a little rubber insert that fits over top. And simple as that. I also already um, installed the Magpul SGA cheek riser kit. Um, it comes with a with a higher one and a lower one um, because of the ghost ring sight on the back. Uh, you need your cheek up a little bit higher, so this this makes it perfect. Um, now let's go to the forehead. Just unscrew the back of that. Take your barrel off. And for the forehead. Slide it forward, and then there's two tabs on the inside. Push those in, and it'll slide right off. Make the hole is nice enough to include the tool to get. Your 
old four end off. It's got the two teeth, this fits right into the two slots. That just slides right out of the old four. Set that aside. Now, the Meg's pull four end does need some modification. Um, I just put some sandpaper around a dowel and sanded that down. Um, otherwise, it's a real tight fit. Um, Then that top piece just goes back on. And then put it back on the gun. Get your rod started. Make sure you pull it back on the rods. And same thing. There we go. And put your barrel back on. All right, so let's put the side saddle on. Uh, it comes in two pieces. The, uh, the metal plate goes onto the side of your receiver with, with these screws, which essentially replace the, the trigger group pins. Um, and then the, the plastic uh, actual side saddle attaches to that plate once it's on. So. Use something to hold up the stock. In the instructions, it says just to put these screws in, push them through, and they'll pop out your old pins. Place this on top of where those screws come through. Take it down with the Allen wrenches they give you. It's easiest to get one started and then put the other one in. You don't want them too tight, but tight enough. Then you put the plastic piece right on top and attach it with the smaller screws that were provided. All right, so there you have it. It's on there. Good to go. Simple as can be. And then we'll roll into some pictures so you can see the close ups and uh, whatnot. So, thanks for watching. There you go, guys. She's all nice and shiny, put back together. You thought you were going to see bad, didn't you? Well, guess what? We're back. It's out! Woo!